Epistemology is one of the main branches of philosophy. Its purpose is to ask and answer questions pertaining to knowledge. Questions like, what is knowledge? How should it be defined? And why should it be defined that way? Is knowledge something that is even attainable? That is, can we really know anything at all? And under what circumstances can I say meaningfully that I do, in fact, know something as opposed to merely believing it or having a personal opinion? These can seem like the kinds of questions that only a philosopher could come up with. Uh, maybe philosophers just make things more complicated than they need to be, asking things like what is knowledge and so on. Um, Perhaps these questions are so contentious that we'll never be able to agree upon our answers, so why bother talking about it at all? Well, to the first point, sure, philosophers do tend to think rather abstractly. Sometimes they come up with overly complicated jargon to discuss these abstract things. That is partly why this channel and lots and lots of others like it exist. That's why we have teachers and books and other media that seek to disambiguate uh, philosophical jargon. And, um, and this is not just for the so-called layperson. This is even for students of philosophy like myself. We all rely very heavily on other people's interpretations of the often complex philosophical texts and ideas uh, to gain clarity on them. That's just kind of comes with the territory. But as far as who actually comes up with these questions, I would argue that it really isn't the philosophers who come up with them. It's not the philosophers who want to know what is knowledge, when do I know something, and when do I merely believe it. It's us. Uh, these questions arise from the facts of our existence. Think about it, we, we already have this word knowledge. We use it all the time, along with its derivatives. We, we say, I know this, and you know that. I don't know this, I don't know that. We take whatever we think is our knowledge, and we use it to make decisions, take actions, take positions on certain issues, handle disagreements. Basically, anything you can think of which involves oneself, other people, and the world that we live in together. So these questions that epistemologists ponder have very real consequences, real implications um, for anyone who is living as a human being with other human beings in an extended world. They, these are relevant questions. They come from us. The philosophers just package them in language that is hopefully more easily uh, discussed, and they apply particular methodologies, logic, argumentation, um, in order to arrive at more reliable statements about, in this case, knowledge. And finally, while it is true that there is no one single consensus upon which all philosophers agree concerning knowledge, that doesn't mean it isn't worth talking about. In fact, talking about it and exploring the breadth of theoretical approaches that have been offered in epistemology on this subject can not only help us to clarify positions we may already hold but not be able to express clearly, could even open us up to something totally new, something we'd never thought of before. That is, at least in part, the very important role that philosophy plays in, in our lives. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about what epistemology is, what it aims to achieve, and ultimately why it matters 